I spent $1,200 on every big brand name gin from Tanqueray to Aviation to answer the big question, am I an alcoholic or a scientist? The answer is both. Alcoholic scientist. There's 21 different gins to taste test one by one and rank S to F tier. S being the best, F being the bleh. And obviously my ratings are as written in stone as the Eight Commandments. Or is it 10? How many commandments are there? you want me to read them to you? There's also no flavor gins, and if you don't see a gin here that you like, it just means that it's not a good gin, and you should avoid buying it at all costs. <laughs> you should feel ashamed if you're buying something that's not on this table because this is like a selection. All right, let's move these out of the way. All right, we're going to start off with the old stripper gin, Tanqueray gin. Smell that? It smells like today's sponsor. Scentbird! Scentbird changes everything you know about how people shop, discover, or even experience fragrances. Each month, Scentbird lets you choose what you want to pick for fragrances, so there's no surprises. If this screen had a scratch and sniff sticker on it, what do you think I'd smell like if you scratched it? Lime, cardamom, black pepper, lavender, rosemary, Amber. Well, that's exactly what I smell like because I'm wearing Chill by Talisman and I chose this on Scentbird. I also picked up English Laundry's Royal Forest because I'm a huge fan of fresh, sweet smells. And having lemon, apples, grapefruit, and orange as your main notes really is the definition of fresh and sweet. When I was a lot younger and I worked in retail at the mall, I would actually go and steal fragrance samples from very expensive colognes. I'm not kidding. Scentbird is like the non-illegal way of doing that. Why spend over $300 for a fragrance that you didn't even get to try for an entire month? With Scentbird, you get a 30-day supply of your favorite fragrance in this super sleek bottle to try out before you actually commit to the real deal, and it's only $17. They got Prada, they got Gucci, they got Versace, and they got indie classics like Heretic, Skylar, and Confessions of a Rebel. So burn up and use my coupon code DOKA55 for 55% off at Stanford. That's just a little over $7 for smelling exceptional. It's available in the US and Canada, so go down in the description below and check out Stanford, show them some love, and hey, it's time to go back to the video. But this smells equally as good. You know what, Tanqueray smells kind of fruity in a way. What's in Tanqueray? So Tanqueray's 40% gin. I think it's one of like the textbook gins you can ever find. This one was cheap. I love gin by the way, but there are gins that I despise. This is not one of them. I think Tanqueray's okay, but we gotta have a shot of that. It's time for a shot. Woo! Diboja. Whoa. I love gin so much. This is great. It doesn't burn as much as you think it's gonna. I think this is what you would definitely use in something like a regular like cocktail martini. This is great. I'm gonna put this one already at the A tier because I really do like Tanqueray gin. God dang, I like this. It's so citrusy. I don't know what's in it. I don't know a lot about gin. I'm good, by the end of this video, I'm gonna know a lot about gin. Some would say I'm a gin master. Botanicals, that's what I like about gin. Tanqueray smells by the grind. Doesn't it sound good? All right. Wow. We're already off by dumb. What? Oh no. Ah! We're on the gin video! Woo! Let's go with this. This one's such a cool bottle. Sylvia's gin? It's a, it's a black bottle. You can't even. You can't even see through it. <laughs> black? Oh, this one has a tearaway top. Ah! Oh man, when you, like, when you... Oh, that sounded great. Okay. Oh, no, it's a pop top! Oh my god. Could they make something that I don't like? Come on. What is the percentage of this gym? It doesn't say anywhere. 45%?! This is a lot higher than the vodka. This is way... This smells like a cologne. It smells... It smells cologne -y. Hold the phone, not this one. 
I'm not, I'm not making this up. So this is my friend Brady. Hey. He's very tall. Uh, Brady, uh, what does this uh -huh. smell like? It smells like a, like a dad at a wedding. Now what does this smell like? A different dad at a wedding. <laughs> Thank you, Brady. It's time for a shot. We'll go to half shots after this. We'll go to half shots after this. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, 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 wait! I forgot to circumvent getting too drunk. <laughs> we got a big water here, and I'm gonna drink a lot of it. This will be done twice by the end of the video. If I didn't, somebody tell on me. Diposia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Ashka, holy, this is way different than the vodka series because everything tastes different. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> no, listen, listen, A tier, A tier. This is insane. It tastes like, like peppery. It is so good. Oh my God. I think these are all going to be high rates, man. Uh, what a video! If they can all be this good. Listen, listen, I could have gotten a lot. I could have gotten two in a row. Oh my god, I am drenched. We spent six hours getting the tourney shots, man. It was a long day. I it's a loud environment. Peppery, citrusy. This is the most citrusy thing that I think I've ever had. This is so good. So good. If, if, if you're, if you work at Sylvia's Gin and you want to sponsor a Doka Ryan video, hey, Sylvia's, Dibolgia, doesn't that sound good? A tier. Wow. I ate food before this. We're on a good track record. I think it's time to bust out America's favorite gin by Ryan Reynolds Aviation. I don't want to interrupt, but Ryan Reynolds is Canadian, so be America's favorite gin made by a Canadian. We're sticking with what I got. Okay, sorry. Get that? Does that sound good? I could bust through this glass. It's good glass though. Again, these are so different. Oh, sh hold on, hold on! It's not as fragrant as Tanqueray or Sylvia's, but it still has a really good, you could smell whatever they put in there. I imagine junipers. It doesn't tell, oh, it does tell you. No, nah, it doesn't tell you. Also known as the Pilot's Gin. I gotta, listen, there's a lot to go through. Papa's gotta stay alive. Diboja. Ooh. Very different. It's not, it's not as <clears throat> fragrant. It doesn't hit the tongue as much. It's okay. I know for a fact that there are terrible gins out there and this is not one of them. I can't put this on the A, a list and I can't put it on the B list. So it belongs on the C list. I'm sorry, Ryan. Sometimes Ryans just don't hit the mark when they make spirits. Unlike this Ryan, who's putting banger after banger out with Vidoka Vodka. The perfect Canadian vodka made from real vodka. Ooh, Gin Mare. This one is 42.7%, so it's higher up there. Uh, <clears throat> distilled from olives, thyme, rosemary, and basil. Thyme. Uh, and basil. This is, oh, it's a Spanish gin. Wow, Spanish. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> oh, what a, whoa! What is a what a win! I can't get this off. Kind of an upset. It's like it's got mid Fruit Loop flavor. Like I've always thought that Fruit Loops smelled like gin. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm hoping that it brings a little bit of the flavor. It's probably a good time to tell you that hey, we got a drunko meter right here. You can tell us authentic because you got the sober camera guy to tell where it is. Dylan, where am I right now? Yeah, it's time for a shot. I don't know, it's giving me like, <clears throat> I shouldn't have chugged that water like that. Water! 
All right, come on, let's go. I love gin. Gin, gin, gin. Typosia. That's not bad. I, I'm gonna put it above aviation. I'm gonna give it a B. I think it's just like, it definitely doesn't have a hit. It doesn't hit as much as you think it needs to hit. It tastes more watery than other gins. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good, but it could be better. I think it's just not as hefty in the flavor category. B tier for bat. I'm gonna tell you a quick secret. So back when I was younger, I would drink a lot of gin and I would buy Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Sapphire, in my own opinion, is the worst gin in the entire known universe. This is such horse that I don't want to drink it. That's why I bought the small bottle. I don't want to give them my money, but I did. And the reason is because I love you and I care and I got to go through every single gin. So why don't we go ahead and not break this shot glass and why don't we go ahead, schnifter this bifter open. <laughs> Come over here. Get over here. By the way, I should mention, and I'm so sorry for this, gin makes me very, very mad. I don't know what chemical compound makes me aggressively mad, but you may need to restrain me. Will you? Okay. It smells like too much aftershave. Does it smell like off bug spray? Aqua Velva. And? Sponsor this video. <laughs> I don't want Aqua Velva. What is it? Give me, give me. One more. It's off. It's time for a shot. What a waste of a shot glass this is. It's fine. You want me to? Yeah, I gotta get. Piss. Diposia. <laughs> God, dude. It's like, like, it's so much acid. It just tastes like, it's like drinking liquid sandpaper with just like absolute pisk particles sprinkled in there. It's not good. If you've ever like gone camping and you've sprayed like DEET on yourself or like some sort of like a insect repellent, that's what it's like. It's insect repellent. S tier. If you're Bombay Sapphire, you can pay me $10,000 and I could bump you up to a D tier. I would take your money and I'd lie and I'd put you down lower. Cause I know you're easy. Where are you from? What country do I hate right now? Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that. Cut that out. It's time for the ceremonious cleansing of the glasses. Follow me. You may remember this bathroom from the other times that I cleansed the glasses. All done. All right, Blaze, pick out a gin. Which gin do you want? Oh, well, you want me to pick, you want me to pick this one, huh? Okay, let's go get it. All right, get out of here, you little rascal. Karar, Karin! Bog Myrtle, Dandelion, Rowan Berry, Heather, Cool Blush Apple. I haven't heard of any of these in my life! Where the f are you from? Oh! They spell it out as Karun! What did I say? Karin! <laughs> oh, it's Scottish! Karin! It's Karin! That's what they say. Karin! It smells like an apple. What the f All right. Oh my God. Let's go. I think I need to chillax after this one. Time for a cut Gin makes me really angry. Diboja. That does not taste like a conventional gin. That's so weird. It has like a more, it's more sandy, kind of like the uh, the Bombay has, but in a good way. You can definitely taste the um, rowan berry and dandelions in this. Maybe even the blush apple. God, I can't believe I'm tasting so much bog. There's an overwhelming bog myrtle in this. What about Heather? Oh, great stuff. I'm gonna put this at the B tier. It's kind of a middle ground. Oh, they won a, they've won a couple awards. Award-winning taste. Well, they didn't win the uh, Doka Ryan Best Gin Award. Can't put that on your tag. Wow. 
Fun fact, did you know that Pure Mason's technically a sponsor of this channel? I've just never used their products ever. <laughs> but they do make a great big wide mouth big jar. I see your butthole. Shh, he's coming. And so am I. Have you, have you seen this? This is like a, come on! These are all my hats. If I wanted to. Oh yeah. This looks great. But you know what else looks great? This amazing, you may have noticed it, the Bone Apple t-shirt from DokaRyan.com. There it goes. You should definitely check it out and check out a bunch of the other things that we have there. We have this in a bunch of different colors. Uh, but <laughs> you're also gonna wanna, before you do that, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and if you're new here, hit the comment button. Cause that's how I know. Oh, Kate, crazy. Remember how I gave Chase Vodka one of the highest ratings in all of the vodkas known to man? Did I? Yeah, you gave it an A. Only an A? The Chase Gin. Is it gonna beat the A? Oh, it comes with a little bow tie, that's so cute. I'll put this on my penis later. <laughs> 10 years. Oh, look at this. Get in there. The bezeling on this lid is absolutely beautiful. God, I love. Chase, keep it up. Where are you from? What are you doing? Government warning. Oh, that's tight. Whoa! Cinnamony. It smells like a, it smells like curry, but the good kind of curry. Stephen Curry. We know what that looks like. For safety. All right. Oh! Diboja. Wow. Okay, so you're feeling like I'm getting a lot of spice. This is so spicy. So I think what I'm liking in gin so far is just like the overwhelming like spice flavor. If it's medium, it's okay. If there's water in it, I hate it. But if there's a lot of if there's a lot of spice like this one, I like it. Not quite an S tier. I hate to say it, Chase. If you make another item, maybe I'll buy it. Maybe it'll go a little bit higher. But this. Has to go on the A tier, match it with the vodka. Oh, you know what? Let's do a little musical right now. That didn't make a sound. We'll do it. We'll do the musical later. This is great! I like this! Good job! Chase, A tier. I like it. Very, very yum yum. Yum yum! What are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's pretty good. A third of the way! Hey! Ring that bell, baby! There's a couple more left! You know what? No, let's go local. So this is the craziest gin I've ever seen. It's called Black Fox Oak Gin. Reason? It was made in an oak barrel. It was aged in an oak barrel. Look at the color of this gin. It's brown, like oak. What? This is made in Saskatoon on the Black Fox Farm. Uh, I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, so this is like amazing that they may even make this. Uh, I wasn't gonna get this because I wanna do big brand names, but I think this is just so unique. Glass top, guys. Oh my god! That's crazy! I'm sweating though, right? Like you can visibly see wetness. Oh my god! What the hell is that? I'm so pumped! It's time for a shot. Wow. Diboja. Listen, listen. I there's nothing in the world I need you to try more than this. Please. You have to use these already glasses, but they're It's okay. Test that one. Try that. That's pretty good. Absolute S tier. This tastes insane. I, I like, it tastes like an iced tea mixed with like, it, it, it tastes like a whiskey gin. This is the craziest thing ever. By the way, I know I said no flavored gins, this doesn't count, I think. I'm almost, I'm sorry that you probably can't even get this. This is my number one favorite gin so far ever. S tier. Incredible. Let's keep going. Dylan, please tell me where I am on this. Why am I on the list? Really? Okay. Oh, Time for a shot. I just want to go to bed. Why would you let me sleep? Let's just pick one at random. I'm gonna just go around and pick one. I'm gonna pick one fast. BOOM! We're doing a TAKE A 
Please be better. Please be better. What's the percentage on this? 47.3%. Ah! Okay. Still smells like tank ray. Very good. Very fragrant. <laughs> Whoa, sh Don't breathe that so deep. <gasps> Whoa! Can you get drunk off of fumes? We don't mention in the conversation. Scientist? Wow. We need to get going and get got around the shoulder. Let's just... <gasps> Boom! Is that okay? Is that okay? This is Tanqueray! They're on the A-list! Come on! You're not living a little! Dibosia! Oh... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wow. I'm gonna break this down in the most common sense way possible. <sighs> if you've ever had Everclear, you get that sandpaper thing I was talking about. This has a lot of that. If they could get rid of that and just keep the flavor of this, this would be an S tier gin. This has every flavor you could ever imagine. Daffodils, heather, bog myrtle, uh, sapphire plums, <laughs> has it all. Juniper berries, this is a really good gin. I, I personally don't like it as much as Tanqueray because it's not, it's just way too strong, honestly. It, I shouldn't have filled it up. I'm gonna put it as a C. I just don't see myself buying it after today. Um, not my fave. Leagues above Bombay! Brady? Cologne. Smell that. That's Semper New York. Smells like New York. Everybody loves a delicious beef eater. Hey, fun fact about beef eater gin. No beef in there! Brady, come on, what's funny about beef eater gin? Give me something, give me something. They're f***ing liars. <laughs> I gotta switch out this hat. Oh man, if only I had like a couple hats to choose from. Not bad. What was that crack? Nothing hit this. I know a place <laughs> where the grass is always green. <laughs> Yeah, that's a beef eater promise. Great, like, you, you don't understand, this gets worse. Way worse! Katy Perry's in trouble right now. <laughs> Dibosia! No. He said Dibosia. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Oh, Brady, good catch. Bone apple teeth. Fuck <laughs> sakes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty bunked. Hold on, Dylan. Where am I on this chart? I'm. I. I'll tell you what I feel. I feel way higher than what you put me. Dibosia. I think honestly, beef eater is one of my favorites just because it mixes well with most everything. Like a beef eater and tonic, a beef eater with like um like a grapefruit tonic or a grapefruit juice is like so unbeatable by any like mixed standards. Uh, I'm gonna put beef eater at the A list just because it's such a well-rounded, amazing gin. A lot of people are gonna flame me in the comment section for like loving beef eater, but it like listen, it's good. It's a good gin. Ceremonial cleansing of the glasses. We made it this far. This is great. Brady, what are your thoughts so far? Uh, you're doing great. You can keep going all night. Thanks, Brady. If anyone asks. Remember the last time we ever took a video in front of a mirror? Do you remember when that was? I was dressed like an avocado. <laughs> With my belly as the pit. What are we gonna pick next? Boodles. Oodles of boodles. Diddly doodles. Sniff test. I don't care for it. Okay. Let's 
time for a shot. It's time for a shot. It's time for a shot. Too, too far away from the bottle. Boodles. <laughs> it's time for a shot. It's time for a shot. Good enough. My hands are real sweaty. Wow. Does it actually taste bad? Smell bad? It smells very... Oh, it smells like Bombay. Yeah, I it get It smells you. rough. Dibosia. Dibosia. Not as bad as it smells. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna give it like, I'm gonna put it on like the, the D tier though. Just cause it, it doesn't have like, you know when you leave uh, ice in a freezer full of meat? It has that meaty flavor that I'm just not a fan of. I don't know what it is about like a meat scented flavored liqueur or spirit. Not good, not good. D tier. I take it back, it's actually pretty bad. I think it did amazing. Toodles, boodles. I really wish you got that. Yeah, it, that almost landed directly on the lid. Sorry. Listen, we're doing Gilby's next? It's a plastic bottle, like. But like, I love this, cause like. milky. I don't know how to explain milk. Like, you know, dairy? Cheesy? It's not very good. <laughs> like, I thought, like, you know, like, the red tassel, like, random one from the vodka video? I thought it was gonna be like that. Um, it's not. Going up with I don't know what I'm saying anymore! I'm, I'm drunk! I just thought about my old cat, Gidget. She's dead. What about cuddles? You know, talk about cuddles. Cuddles. Dibosia! That's one of the most rancid things ever. There's no meaty flavor. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking for a meaty flavor. There's, there's no meaty flavor. This really just tastes like like putrid, like rotten fruits. It's not very like if you if you've ever left something in the fridge and you open the fridge and it smells rotten. It smells like rotten granules of uh, fruits and uh, uh, spices. Not very good. Like old pepper. I don't like it. Put it on the A tier. No, I'm just kidding. It's time. Roku Gin. Remember the Haku vodka that we did? It was S tier automatically. We got his predecessor. Same company, different gin. Let's go. Squares? How many sizes on this? Two, four, six, six. Octagon. Hexagon! Alright, moving on. Um, flavorful. Wow! Okay, hold up! Shot class! Thank you. It's time for a Roku. Oh my god. Okay, this smells great, but does it taste good? Dibosia. The burn is there, the flavor is there. What is in this, by the way? Sakura flower, zu yuzu peel, sencha tea, ancho pepper, sakura leaf, girakura tea. Put it on the S tier, put it on the S tier. This has everything. It has the absolute heavy flavor. I'm getting everything from this. If I wasn't already inebriated, I would have another shot of this. Nobody's taking this from me. Nobody's taking this from me. This is incredible, one sec. I, honestly, Suntory, you make one of the best products of all time. Like, I, I can feel the care that you put into everything. This is so good. S tier. Absolute S tier. So good. The S stands for so good. Osake. S stands for Osake. Roku Osake. No, de dead serious though. This is so damn good. Where is that? Oh, oh. What a good reminder. The 
S in Centauri stands for S. -S, -S. Did I tell you to talk? Remember how I hated Bombay? Bombay has another one. Bombay Sapphire. Sorry, that's not what it's called. Star of Bombay. This thing, 47.5%. Will it be better than regular Bombay? That is the age old question. Oh my god, oh my god. It's not looking too good. Sniff test. It's missing something. It smells orangey though. More orangey than the other one. Like, it, it smells definitely not as strong as regular Bombay. We're here to find out. Bombay, Star of Bombay. This is their number one favorite gin. I couldn't buy, I couldn't buy this in a smaller bottle, so it better be worth the big boy. Time for a shot. That was pathetic. Time for a shot. That's the same amount. Time for a shot. Too much. One more time. Time for a shot. A little too much. Time for a shot. I'm gonna go with it. One more time. Time for a shot. I'm getting mad now. Time for a shot. Time for a shot. First time. Diboja. Oh. You're getting so much citrus out of this. This is what they should make as their typical Bombay, because actual Bombay tastes like absolute acid trees. This is great. Look at this. That was gonna make a noise. This is great. Uh, put it on the A tier. This is like really good. I could spot myself buying this. It kind of tastes like Sylvia's, but with a little bit less of a burn. So this has more pepper to it. It is more cologne -y. This tastes more like you can taste the orange. So it's kind of like drinking an orange juice gin. So it's pretty good. This would be a great gin and juice. On a private flight. <laughs> this is great. I like this one. Bombay. If you ever want to sponsor, I'm your boy. But only with this. Everything else sucks. Pick, pick one for me. You know what? Oh, yeah. The gray whale looks fun. That does look really fun. It looks, it, it looks, it looks fruity. It does look fruity. Okay, Brady, are you ready for it? So it's, it's juniper, it's limes, fir tree, sea kelp, mint, and almonds. I don't know what any of that means. Well, it means there's juniper, fir tree, mint, almonds, lime, and the other one. <laughs> Forty-three percent. Oh, what the hell is this? Do you see that? Get in on that. What is this? It's like gold. What the hell? It smells like water. It doesn't smell like anything. Don't eat that. Don't eat it! It's time for a shot. What's it called? Hypoja. <laughs> no, great. I know it's bone apple teeth. Definitely different. Definitely different. This is probably the most different. Like, but besides the one from Saskatoon, this one's really weird. It tastes more oceanic for sure. It's the gray whale. It's it's the gray whale! You can definitely look at this. It matches my curtains. And your hat. I wouldn't buy this one again, but I'm gonna put it at the B tier. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I, I think it gives you like a, a little bit more of like a, a salty experience. It, it, that's where I'm, that's what I'm getting at the end. So it starts out with like a bug spray, goes into like a peppery, like salty goodness, but it ends off with salt. Like, you know when you have like a big like spoonful of salt for fun? That's what it tastes like. It's good. 
but it could be a little bit better with less salt. You know what time it is? Time for the cleansing of the glasses. Let's go, baby. You may remember this from when I cleansed the, why is this door shut? What the f So you may remember this from when I cleansed the glasses less. Um, I'm trying to cleanse my butthole. This one. I like that one. Gunpowder. Mm. Good choice. I love you. Give me a kiss. Mm. Love you too. Love you too. Bye bye. Gay. So if I have you ever got have you guys ever seen a thing where you put your head up, lift up your leg, and you try to balance? It's impossible. World 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 record. <laughs> so stand like, yeah, right there. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes, head up, put your arms out, uh, put your arms out, head up, tilt it up, and stand on one leg. Don't use the f wall. Head up, arms out, put your put your one leg up. Yeah, it's fun. It's tough, and I've had so much to drink. I'm very top heavy. Cool, okay, good, can't say anything. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Clearly? From the curious mind of PJ Rigney. It looks like a little hat. It kind of does. What is this? Oh my god. It's a treasure map. <laughs> Brittany, you want to go to treasure? We got to go to Germany, Morocco, Romania, Macedonia, India, Cambodia, Indonesia. Then we got to leave off in China. I'm going to read this out. Leave this in. All of it. I don't care. All those places sound poor. Ugh! The curious journey of a curious mind. It takes an inquisitive questing spirit to produce the most remarkable results. Though the years of PJ Rigney. Ooh, that's on there. Yeah. Snifter test. Wow. Wow. Wow! Super citrusy. Smell this. That is kind of citrusy. I'm also getting like piney. Yeah, piney! Where does it say what's in it? No. Oh, oh Brady, it's on the card. It takes an inquisitive question! to produce the remarkable <laughs> Just for that, I'm putting this on an F. Oh my god. Yeah, don't be jealous. It's a certified <laughs> frame. I'm a certified freak. <laughs> okay. Put that on there. Time for a shot. That's great! Dibosia. Oh my god. S tier. This is everything. Wow! Oh my god. This is insane. What is this? Gin? <laughs> it's so good. It has everything I want. I imagine Tanqueray with just a little extra. It's so damn good. Let me break it down in the most like, uh, in the most insane rap song of all time. All right, you ready? Brady, drop a beat. Yeah. Okay, you get a lot of citrusy. You get a lot of that heavy flavor that I'm looking for. Uh, you get a very, like, it's, it's a very minimal burn, but it's very good nonetheless. I like 10 out of 10. Let's go. JP Wrigley, giving it the f Benz, let's go. You ready? This is crazy. Are you ready for some magic? My freak. This is the absolute Empress Gin. Time for that shot. You lose your mind. Shh. 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 
is blue. Diboja. It's so good. It's really good. So Empress Gin, in my mind, it tastes very blueberry-like. It, it, you taste more berries than anything, which is weird. It doesn't have a burn at almost at all. So it's an easy drink. I'm gonna put this one at the A tier. It's a well-priced gin. It's very good. Magic trick time. Check this out. So Empress Gin is known for one thing. Being blue. Like the Smurfs. Like the Smurfs. <laughs> so this is... James Cameron's avatar. This is soda. Tonic. Watch the magic unfurl. Did you expect pink? Not bad. Do you have herpes? I'll never tell. Me too. Glendonow Botanical Gin. One of the best. <laughs> One of the best. God. You know it's good because it's got a tassel on it. perforated edges. Get ready, can you help him? No, but like down. Yeah, no, no, yeah, down. Down, can you help me? How are your nails so sharp? They're not sharp, they're just, I have strong nails. My love, my darling. Can you grab me a shot glass? Oh my god. You didn't, sn you didn't smell it. Oh! Smells good. Dang, Bojo! <laughs> Ooh! Wow! Ooh! That's really good. I'm gonna put that in the A tier. It, 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 it's got like a really good piney scent to it. Pine. It's very piney. Honestly, I would put this definitely the A tier because of the pine. Very piney. That's all it has. Is it piney? It's very piney. Do you want to have it? You have to have a little bit. I don't want any. What is this? You St. George. Smell it. You gotta smell it. Oh. It's not bad. It, it smells just more like a it, gym. It's very faint. It's very faint. It's not there. It smells like it's behind like a paywall. It's not anywhere. It's like very it's far away. It's behind a firewall of flavor. Heads or tails? Drink it. Diboja. Diboja. That's not bad. It kind of, it, it reminds me of like, it, it, it kind of tastes exactly like Tanqueray. I'll put it in a B tier. St. George's is very, St. George's is very okay. So it's got that hefty, like, that flavor that I want, that I like in a gin. Honestly, to be completely honest with you, it tastes like Tanqueray, so if you love Tanqueray and you want to spend a little bit extra, St. George is where you want your money to be. Which one do you think, audience? Ready for it? This is crazy. It's London one on both sides. So it doesn't matter what side Almost I do like on. it tells you what it is. So this one looks like it's from London. Especially crafted by our master distiller in small batches. Uh, traditional and elegant spirit. 47%? That was nice. Okay, big smell test. It better pass the smell. Ooh, very like, it smells creamy. It smells like f***ing gin, man. 
I can pour it. I can pour it. I can pour it. You can pour the last one. I know, but... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It costs like 72 bucks. Dibosia. Oh, it's okay. I put it on the E tier. It doesn't have everything that I want at all. You remember like the Sega? It tastes like a Sega version of all the consoles. It just wasn't there, but it had Sonic. So it has something, but it's like riding on the coattails of that one thing. We're going all along the watchtower with a Hendrix. You're gonna see some purple haze up in his brain. I actually, I like that lid. It's got a really cool lid. Come here, big fella. It smells very good. I think, honestly, in, in like my mind, I think it feels like it's probably like number one for the smells, but I don't know what it tastes like yet. It's pretty good, though. It smells piney. Can I smell it again? No. Oh my god, we forgot about the jar of water. Personally, personally I like Hendrix. Personally, I like Hendrix. Hendrix is great. Um, Brady, let's do a funny little skit. All right? Let's pretend, okay, so uh, you're, you're, you're a doctor. I'm a patient. You're drinking too much. You're going to die. We're going to have to put this in your butt. That's not your butt. It's not bad. What is that? What did you put on my head? What did you put on my head, Brady? This man has to be hydrated. So that was the gin tier list. Uh, everything I say is law, so if you didn't see what you liked, uh, that's what you get. Thanks for Semper for sponsoring this video. If you see a video right here, Brady, what do you see? A video. <laughs> if you see down there, Brady, what do you see? A different video. Wow, that's the one that I chose for you. Brady, what's right there? The subscribe button? <laughs> oh my god! That's exactly it! Smash that, and we'll see you in the next Doka Ryan tier list.